In order for us not to fail for any sin, we have to treat everything like it's a big deal. Big or small, don't ever try to evaluate the mitzvah because we don't know the value of each mitzvah. We don't know what's the biggest mitzvah, we don't know what the smallest mitzvah is. It could be that the smallest, something that you think is a small mitzvah ends up being the biggest reward in Allah Abba, and the one that you think is a big deal, not really that big of a deal. Like in today's age, unfortunately, people are led to believe that the biggest mitzvah in the Torah is give tzedakah. This is not true. Tzedakah is a big mitzvah, but it depends what kind of tzedakah. Tzedakah has two parts of the mitzvah. There's the mitzvah of giving, but as far as the merit and the reward, is the outcome of the giving. If someone looks at things logically, they don't even need to look at the verses. You want to look at the verses, we could spend another few hours learning about it. But if you just look at things logically, yes, tzedakah is a big mitzvah, but only if you use it the right way. The same thing when someone says, listen, I tried sending you an email 50 times, but it didn't work. It didn't work. I wrote it 50 times. It didn't work. I press send, 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 I press send. And it didn't work. I said, okay, so show me what you said. And it's show me what they said. I said, oh, you forgot to put the dot in dot com. Just, ah, come on, you're making a big deal out of one little dot. I wrote the whole thing. Your own at Bezat Hashem.org. So I forgot to put the dot. What's the big deal? What do you mean, what's the big deal? If there's no dot, the whole thing is worthless. The whole thing could be great. You spelled everything perfect. It could be 500 letters. You spelled everything perfect, perfect, perfect. But if you're missing the dot, it's worthless. It's not going to get anywhere. The same thing with our tzedakah. You could give $500 million. Not $5, $500 million. But if it's for the, if it's for the Red Cross, or for some uh, Christian institution that's trying to recruit Jews or it's for something that's against God it's worthless so yes, zakah can be used as a good tool it could be a very big mitzvah you could buy yourself a big Allah because of it but only if you use it the right way